Back in 1998, when this 370 Sundancer was built, it was equipped with a tube TV slash VCR combo. And if you're real lucky, even got a DVD player in it. Yeah, back in the day, the technology had only advanced to the point of tube TV still. And since they were so big and they took up a lot of space, the most that you would have got on this boat at least was a 13 inch tube TV because that's all that fit in this space. Now you can see somebody has altered this and put in this flat screen TV. But for us, this is not the best viewing angle. And this was one of the few boo-boos that Sea Ray made in their styling by jamming the TV way here in the corner. So as stylish and well laid out as this beautiful boat is, the one thing that where Sea Ray dropped the ball, in my opinion, is placement of the TV, as I just mentioned. Now you have this beautiful couch here with this semi wraparound couch, which seats 12 comfortably. <laughs> um, if, if anybody wants to watch that TV, anybody sitting from that point over to here, you're going to be... You, you won't be able to see the TV unless you crank right around with your neck and looking up. That's just simply uncomfortable. So in reality, the only people that can watch it is maybe two on this corner and look it up, but you still got to crank your neck over. So I came up with a better idea. So not unlike what I did on our last boat, our 98 330 Sundancer, I thought that the best place to mount the TV will be where anybody who's sitting on the couch can see it a lot more comfortably and that is boom up there on that wall. So from the vantage point where I'm sitting now on the couch you got a great view. Now keep in mind this is a wide angle lens on this camera so it looks like it's really far away but it's really nice, nice nicely positioned at that spot. Now, luckily, when the boat was built, uh, they left this area back here, this bulkhead, more or less flat, which lent itself to mounting the TV. Now, from the factory, that is mid-cabin, aft cabin, whatever you want to call it. But to make that a private space, these couple of doors will slide across. We never use them, but oh, I'm going to show you just for effect here. So those guys will slide across and then there's a curtain as well that goes in a track across and around there. Clearly we don't have the curtain because it would be rare that anybody sleeps back there and if it is it'll just be uh, our grandkids maybe for a night, who knows. So to make it more open looking we decided to just take that curtain down altogether, not put it back up and then the TV centered in that space works brilliantly so before I say too much that's this isn't even actually a TV it is a smart monitor and I'll get back to that in a second now how come you can't see any wires where's the magic in this well there are wires of course I needed one wire only and that is a power supply so that is clearly coming off the back of the TV this is a pivoting mount so there's the power supply and I had to drill one hole through the wall, through the bulkhead. Well, actually, I had to drill a few because this is through bolted, this mount. Just so we don't lose it on a wavy, rocky day. So that goes out through the wall underneath the helm. And back into here. I was able to sneak that wire through the bulkhead, but back inside here open up this access panel which gives you access to, to the ductwork and whatever else that's running back there and then fish the wire down drill the hole through this bulkhead and walk around here and brought it out to here the plug-in part oh look at all the cat toys up here and then there you go now this is a factory installed receptacle up here so my plug I just got one of those offset plugs and boom and then that extension runs around and back up and then it is plugged in the TV is plugged into the end of it obviously back up under the helm all nicely neatly tucked away so how does this non TV non wired uh, unit work 
Ta-da! Wirelessly. Like I say, it is not a te it's not a television in the conventional sense. It is a smart device. It's a smart monitor and it has a bunch of apps built in. I think I could add a couple more so I have, you know, we've got Prime Video, Netflix, Apple TV. I don't think we've ever watched that, but it probably just came with it. And of course, uh, YouTube. Let's see what's on YouTube. So how do we watch my favorite shows on places like YouTube? Of course, we have to connect to the interweb. There's no cable, so we don't watch cable TV anyways. We haven't had cable TV at home in eight, nine, ten years. You know why? Because it's all crap. Too many commercials, too much crap. So we watch only streaming YouTube, of course, uh, Netflix, and so on and so forth like that. So there's enough variety on there for us to watch. But how do we connect to that? We have to connect to the interwebs, either through a local Wi-Fi, which we never use, never, never use. I don't trust public Wi-Fi. And so everything comes through creating a hotspot on my phone. And then we have access to the internet as well as a secure access to the internet so we can watch stuff like this, boating videos on YouTube. Oh man, it feels just like I'm on the boat when I watch this. Oh, look at that beautiful Sundancer splashing through the summer waves. Oh no, not this guy. <laughs> yeah, so that's how we watch TV without a TV. And it works awesome, it works great for us. I know a lot of you guys are gonna say, oh man, Paul, like you're using a lot of data on your phone. Yes, we are, but that's okay. I feel a lot more secure using, doing it that way. So yeah, that's how we watch TV on the boat without even having a TV. All streaming through the interwebs, don't have to worry about cable, don't have to worry about relying on a public Wi-Fi, especially when we're out and about or spending a night at a lock or wherever we are in a remote location. This area of the world is excellent cell phone reception, especially the 5G. So streaming videos like this or Netflix show or anything like that is not a problem, not an issue. And again, since we don't need a full-on TV, these smart monitors are awesome. This is a Samsung unit. I do not know off the top of my head what the model is, but I'm going to try and look it up for you and try and put it on the screen for you somewhere around here. So it's a smart monitor, Samsung. It really only needs a power supply and, of course, a Wi-Fi connection to make it work. Love it. If I wanted to, I could even uh, beam my laptop up here if I was doing some editing of videos. Just saying. So anyways, that's it. That's uh, a good solution and a good spot, in my opinion. Here, let me just swing this around again. Now, wouldn't you agree that having that up there is in a much better position than having it behind us? Yeah, it works good. Love it. Yeah, so that's it for this one. Uh, please also look down in the description if you want to see more of these how I did it videos, how I did it boating upgrades and repair videos. I got over 100 of them now. Electronics, uh, vacuum flush, fixing stuff, breaking things, drilling holes in the boat. Been doing that for a number of years now, so there's always a lot of, a lot of good stuff to see there. So, from Boogaboo and Boogaboo, I look forward to your comments. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.